she went missing after reportedly going to meet this man. Nine years after that, so did she. Kyler Eust is now behind bars for knowingly burning Jessica Runyon's car after she disappeared. So where is she? And where is Kara Kopetsky? After months of fruitless searches, 10 years of heartache for Kara's family, it seems we may finally have answers to those questions. Just weeks ago, two skulls were found not far from where the girls disappeared. Once they have collected up the evidence today, they'll look at that, analyze what they have, and then determine who's going to take custody of that uh, for testing, analysis, and that type of thing. Very shortly after that announcement, authorities positively ID one of the skulls, and both girls' families get the call. They say, you know, the moment you feel like you're going to give up is the moment you find answers. It's just hard. <laughs> It's the hardest thing anybody will ever have to go through. They said that the f first set of skeletal remains have been identified, and they told Jamie just like that, that it was her daughter, Jessica. I was numb. And I did my best to try to comfort her. It wasn't what anyone had hoped for, but after nearly a year of wondering what happened to her little girl, Jamie Runyon's finally had some answers. So what about that other skull found in the same location? And then they looked at me and they said the other set of skeletal remains could take up to a year to identify. A heartbreaking setback, but both Rhonda and Jamie believe they know what the results will be. We're still waiting to get that answer. And, you know, we feel in our heart and in our, our gut that it's Kara because Kara disappeared almost 10 years ago. And They've said that the other skeletal remains, they're a lot older, that they've been out there a lot longer. And it just makes sense that the other set of skeletal remains are car. If you find one, you find the other. Everybody that has searched, that's their belief. If the bones do turn out to be Kara's, even if they don't, the big question that still needs to be answered is who dumped them there in the first place. We're just going to collect the evidence and just work it backwards and to see exactly how she got there and what happened to her. Crime Watch Daily has reached out to police, though they have declined to comment at this time. But if you ask Rhonda and Jamie, there's only one person responsible for whatever happened to their daughters, Kyler Eust. In fact, Rhonda says there's something very suspicious about the place where the remains were found, something that came up in a report made shortly after Kara went missing almost 10 years ago. Somebody spotted Kyler's truck, and it was headed this way. Plus, he has a childhood friend who he spent a lot of time with, whose farm is right around the corner from here. He would have been familiar with this area. Kyler Eust will be in court this fall to face charges for burning Jessica's car. Though if Rhonda has her way, he could be facing more than that. When this comes out that it's Kara and we get the answer that it is Kara, that is the missing piece to the puzzle that we've been looking for. That is all that the prosecution has been waiting for is Kara, which is the physical evidence. This is all that we've been waiting for. For now, it's peaceful here. It is peaceful. A makeshift memorial stands where the bodies were found. Crosses placed by the community for both Jessica and Kara. There's a stream over there that, you know, has water flowing through it. And it is peaceful. I mean, you don't like to think of your daughter being out here, but they're not anymore. They're home. We found them. Jessica's younger sister, Megan, who has never spoken publicly about her loss, visits the site today for the first time. And what do you think about when you see this? Um, it hurts, but it's pretty. She would have loved it. I mean, it's just so colorful and pretty, and she was such like a happy person, and she would have just loved looking at it. A final resting place of sorts. One mystery solved and another on the brink. But closure? It's not really closure. I will never have that.
I have the answers. And we'll have resolution. We like that word. We like the word resolution. Because Car and Jessica are still gone. So yes. we won't have closure until we're all reunited again on the other side. And until they say, the person responsible for taking their girls is held accountable. A battle these moms bonded by tragedy will fight together. We're family. We are family. We're not blood, but that doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Our girls have brought together. Yeah. I mean, we're in a group that nobody should ever be in, but we build strength from each other. We're not gonna be quiet until our girls get justice and the dirt bag gets put away for the rest of his life. I love you, Rhonda. You too, Jamie. <laughs> And Kyler Eust is no stranger to trouble with the law. In 2011, his then pregnant girlfriend filed a restraining order against him after accusing him of trying to choke her to death as well as killing her three cats. In 2013, he was sentenced to nearly four years in prison on drug trafficking charges. Before that sentencing, a judge asked him if he had anything to say, to which he replied, eat a steak for me. He's currently being held on a $50,000 cash bond.